<laughs> All right. Coming up, which 08 presidential candidate has received the most money from military donors? Trust me, you will not believe the answer. Clinton, Barack Obama, Rudy Giuliani, McCain, four candidates in the race for the Oval Office. But when it comes to raising campaign cash, guess who is hitting a home run with the military? Michael Barone is a senior writer for U.S. News and World Report and also our Fox News political analyst. And I've got to tell you, they gave me five guesses. That's really nice graphic there. You decide, oh, wait. Uh, they gave me five guesses and I couldn't get it. So who does the military love? Uh, well, according to a website that's researched it, the number one fundraiser from military uh, personnel, Congressman Ron Paul of the 14th Congressional District of Texas. That is uh, right outside uh, Austin, Texas. Between uh, Austin and Houston. Yeah, yeah very, very interesting. Um, and Ron Paul, not one of the names that you hear right up at the top of the list when people are talking about the, uh, certainly the front runners in the campaign. And then it goes down. The next name I, I kind of expected, and it was actually one of the ones I had guessed, John McCain, uh, but it goes from 32% sending in money to Ron Paul, 22% for John McCain, and then third uh, on the list is... Bar Barack Obama, the Democratic senator from Illinois. Uh, these, the, the percentages you're giving, I think, are percentages of total contributions of, from people who identify right. themselves as uh, being in the military. It's self-identification by the contributor. That's right. It Actually, our number shows that Barack Obama had slipped down the second quarter and that Hillary Clinton is getting the third most donations from the folks who identified themselves as in the military. Yeah, we should keep this in perspective, Edie. Uh, the, the amount of contributions for Ron Paul in this quarter were $18,000. Uh, that's less than 1% uh, of the money that he's raised uh, over the course of this campaign. Mm -hmm. It's kind of curious, though. He's a libertarian who tends to vote against just about all government spending and against uh, any U.S. Uh, military or almost all foreign policy involvement abroad. Uh, you wouldn't think that would have a lot of appeal to the military. My guess is that uh, he, he's got used some libertarian-type uh, mailing lists that happen to have a lot of people in the military on them. Hmm, interesting. Now, when people are asked to identify themselves, is there any check? Do, you, do we really know that people who said, I'm in the military and this is where I gave the money, uh, do we really know they actually are? Or are there, and are there, on the flip side, people who could be in the military who simply don't identify themselves that way? Uh, that's right. There's no, there's no real verification that's done on this. Uh, the FEC may look at it if the person doesn't put any occupation on, but even then. So we're dependent on that. There are probably a lot of, you know, many contributors are military veterans uh, who don't identify themselves as such. So okay. this is just, uh, it, it, this is suggestive rather than pinpoint accuracy. All right. Michael Barone, thank you very much.